इज वन रीजन वाई दिस नेम इज नेमिसन अनदर रीजन नेम मतलब आग का पल्लव को कहते हैं नेम आग का जो पल्लव है धरती को कहते हैं नेम इसका मतलब अगर वहां पर कोई भजन करे आपकी एक निमिष मात्र भी नेम एक निमिष मात्र भी आप लोग बर्बाद नहीं रह जाते हैं इसलिए उसका नाम भी नेम इज है और नेमी आंख जो कपने को कहते हैं ना आंख जो कपने के समय को कहते हैं समय जैसे नेमी से कहते हैं नेमी सो सो द टाइम दैट इट टेक्स टू ब्लिंक द आई इज आल्सो नोन एज नेमिश सो बाय दिस आल्सो दैट इट इज सेड दैट इफ यू स्टे देयर एंड परफॉर्म योर भजन देयर देन ईच एंड एवरी फ्रैक्शन ऑफ अ सेकंड विल बी यूटिलाइज्ड इन द सर्विस ऑफ द लॉर्ड एंड नॉट इवन फ्रैक्शन ऑफ अ सेकंड विल बी वेस्टेड and that's why also this place is known as in sharan okay ye wahan par kadri suto goswami aur sanodadi ka jo sambhal hai bhagavat ka sambhal hai kadri wahi par hui hai kyunki us sthan atyant pavitra sthan tha wahan par badi sundar ganga bah rahi hai bahut sundar manoram sthan aur bahut log wahan par bhagavat wahan par bola tha na isliye suto sthan isliye wahan par hat mein bhagavat ka tal chalti rehti hai ganga hai ki बड़ी मनोरम स्थान वहां पर इसलिए लोग बहुत लोग वहां दर्शन के लिए आते हैं इट्स अ वेरी प्योर प्लेस एंड मशीन भावतम वाज स्पोकन बाय श्री सुदो गोस्वामी टू द शानक एंड अदर ऋषिज इन दैट प्लेस श्री भावतम बाय ऑन द बैंक्स ऑफ द गंगा रिवर वेरी प्योर प्लेस एंड दैट्स व्हाई अप टिल नाउ देयर इज प्योर प्लेस इज वेरी प्योर एंड पीपल कीप ऑन स्पीकिंग भावतम देयर इट्स ऑल द प्लेस वेयर भावतम वाज स्पोकन यस कैन यू गिव अस योर रीजन बिकॉज़ शी वाज Yes, because it's Sudarshan chakra, not Sudarshan chakra. Sudarshan. Brahma, he manifested from his heart. Ah. His heart, from this mind, you know, yeah. manifested this mind, this chakra. Ah. So this is the Sudarshan chakra. Sudarshan chakra. Sudarshan chakra is Krishna's chakra. Yeah. Brahma is chakra. Yeah. So, ah, इसलिए अभी यहाँ पर कभी ये जो सामनगाद ऋषि लोग वहीं पर बड़ी दिन से जगह कर रहे हैं. बड़े दिन से भजन कर रहे थे लेकिन हृदय में जब मैं करते 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 उनका हृदय तक भी सूख गया सब मुंह भी काला हो गया उनकी दाढ़ी जो मोच वो भी काली हो गई केस भी काली लेकिन मन में शांति नहीं मिल रहा था उनको एक दिन भगवत तो इच्छा से श्री सुतो गोस्वामी वहाँ पर आते हैं जब सुतो गोस्वामी आते हैं फिर उनको आसन दे करके अभ्यर्थना करके उनको बैठाए और बैठा करके उन्होंने प्रश्न करते हैं Uh, so then shanak and other rishis they are performing yajna for very very long time over there so long time <coughs> that my offering oblations into the fire their hair has become black from the soot of the fire sacrifice their beard their faces have become hard and by the fire the temperature high temperature of the fire their hearts as if have have become dried up and still they are not able to satisfy find satisfaction within their hearts by performing all these fire sacrifices and uh, they are feeling very dejected although they are living in this certain auspicious place and then at by the desire of the lord one time shri sutta goswami came there and shri sutta goswami came there they were very pleased and then they offered him a seat and then they asked him questions yeah ye yahan se kya dete hain agar vastav ki jo aanand hai na ye ke mein vastav ki aanand hai ek katha bhagwan ke kirtan katha mein jo aanand hai wo aanand aur kisi mein nahi there is a lesson for all of us here that uh the pleasure that there is in hari kirtan and hari katha is not present in all the amounts of sacrifices put together isliye kare ji is kate unka naam hai shri suto suto goswami suto goswami kare do suta hai ek ugra sava suta hai aur ek lomarshan suta hai ke do suta hai lomarshan suta aur ek ugra sava suta hai kare ji jo lomarshan suta ek samay wahan par puran पाठ कर रहे थे नमे सारे नमे इतने में श्री श्री बलदेव प्रभु बलदेव प्रभु आए बलदेव प्रभु को आए देखा उन्होंने बलदेव प्रभु को आए लेकिन देखते हुए भी आए कोई बात नहीं बैठ जाएंगे उनको कथा कर रहा हूँ इसलिए अपने आप बैठ जाए लेकिन जो बलदेव प्रभु वहाँ पर आए बलदेव प्रभु देखा 
बढ़ते प्रभु आदि गुरु थे आदि गुरु बढ़ते प्रभु अर्थात शंकर खंड स्वरूप उन्होंने देखा कि कंटिन्यू कथा करते जा रहे हैं लेकिन उनको कोई सम्मान नहीं दे रहा है फिर बलदेव गुरु को क्रोध आया बोले तुम कथा करने का योग्य नहीं हो हाँ कथा करने का तुम योग्य नहीं हो इसलिए उन्होंने उठाया एक दिन उससे उन्हें भला कर दिया So there are two uh, uh, suit popular uh, in, uh, characters in the scriptures, uh, Lomashan suit and uh, Ubishawa suit. So there was one uh, Lomashan suit who one time in Nanishrani Ashram he is uh, performing uh, uh, Bhavatam. He is speaking Bhavatam. Quran. Uh, sorry, Quran. He is speaking Quran, and uh, when he is speaking Quran at this time, uh, Lord Balaramji approached. Baladevi approached there, and then he thought in within heart that. Because he is speaking uh, Hari Katha, so there is no need to offer respect to him. I should continue speaking Hari Katha. And who is uh, Balara, Baladev? Baladev is the original Guru. That's all. He is the original Guru. So when he came there and he saw that he is not being respected and he does not acknowledge his presence, so he became annoyed at him and he picked up his uh, blade of glass and he threw it at him. And uh, it is a uh, desire of the Lord. So even a glass of blade can kill him. So by the stri- strike of this blade of glass, he left his body. न तद भक्त सुचाने सुभक्त प्राकृत निष्ठ इसलिए कनिष्ठ भक्त उनको कनिष्ठ भक्त कहते हैं अर्चया में भरे जब पूजा में श्रद्धा श्रद्धा पूर्वक तो अर्चना मूर्ति को पूजा करते हैं लेकिन उनका भक्तों को कोई आदर नहीं करता भक्त भी उनको कोई स्थान नहीं आदर नहीं तो जो प्राकृत भक्त वो कनिष्ठ अधिकारी भक्त है उसको कहता है लेकिन मध्यम अधिकारी कौन भक्त है हाँ बोले ईश्वरी तदर्मेशो वाली से सुदिश सुच प्रेम मैत्री कृपा अपेक्षा जब करोति सब मिलता है उनसे श्रेष्ठ बताया ईश्वर प्रेम तदाधि भक्त में ईश्वर मैत्री जो इसको उपेक्षा ईश्वर तदाधिन सु बालिश को ईश्वर तदाधिन सु बालिश है जिस प्रेम मैत्री मैत्री कृपा और उपेक्षा दिन ही इनको कृपा करनी चाहिए इसलिए मध्यम भक्तों को उसे कहते हैं जो भगवान से भी है? जो भक्तों को ज्यादा महत्व दे भगवान को जितने महत्व देता है उससे ज्यादा महत्व किसको दे वे भक्तों को महत्व दे भक्तों के इसलिए हाँ इसलिए मध्यम भक्त है मध्यम भक्त उनको बताया इसलिए जिस समय श्री चंद्रभूमि महाराज सालग्राम पूजा कर रहे थे अगस्त ऋषि आए बोले आए बैठ जाए कोई बात नहीं बोले ठाकुर जी सालग्राम पूजा कर रहे लेकिन अगस्त ऋषि अभिशाप जाओ हाथी बन जाओ हाथी जैसे मस्ती नहीं चलता किसी को ग्राजे नहीं करता लेकिन पूजा कर रहा था सालग्राम भगवान ने क्या नहीं किया भगवान जी क्या देते हैं अगर मेरे भक्त आए तो मेरी पूजा छोड़ करके मेरी भक्ति की पूजा करो उस दिन में संतुष्ट होकर भक्तों का हृदय में भगवान का निवास है सो क्वेश्चन दैट इफ स्वामी वॉज स्पीकिंग हरी कथा एंड ही वॉज रीडिंग फ्रॉम स्क्रिप्टीन Uh, there are three types of devotees which are described: uttam, madhyam, and kanishtha. The kanishtha uh, devotee is described as one who has faith in the deities and who serves uh, with a lot of faith uh, the deities he serves, but he has no faith in the devotees. And a madhyam adhikari is one who has uh, faith in the deities, uh, who serves the deities, but he has more faith in the devotees. and also he will be indifferent towards those who are envious and those who are friendly or uh, those who are equal to him he will uh, create friendship with them so are we lost for a minute yes so so you know so so he got it and goes to bad indra dumna maharaj oh sorry yeah uh, then he is uh, describing that how uh, one time uh, uh, indra dumna maharaj he was uh, performing his uh, worship to shaligram and when he was performing worship of shaligram agat sarishi approached him and then agat sarishi approached him he, he kept on worshiping the shaligram uh, although he kept on worshiping shaligram and it is the deity form now uh, but still agat sarishi became annoyed at him and he cursed him 
that you become an elephant because you are as ignorant as elephant. So, so uh, what is the lesson here? Uh, somebody may say that whom he was worshipping, he is worshipping Shaligram who is one different from the Lord himself. And although he is worshipping the Lord himself directly, but still he was not saved by Shaligram. And what does Shaligram say? What does the Lord say? The Lord says, I cannot protect you from... Uh, the curse of a devotee because I reside in the heart of the devotees. When the devotees come, you have to worship them, you have to honor them first before you worship me, honor me. Yes, Satellite that's why we see in our temples always there are two charnamrits. One charnamrit is the charnamrit that we have offered to Gurudev and the second charnamrit that we have offered to the Lord. So in the beginning it is described that in the beginning you have to worship the, your Gurudev, take permission from him and then you worship the deities. If you do not uh, take permission from Gurudev and worship uh, deities directly, understand that actually all your uh, efforts, it is all completely useless. It is like throwing the oblations on ashes. Yeah. So, here, <laughs> Brahman <laughs> So, uh, when uh, Balde Prabhu, now he, this uh, Sutta Goswami Sutta has been killed, the Loma Shin Sutta has been killed, and now all <coughs> the people who are saintly persons who were listening Harikatha from him, they became very disturbed. <coughs> they became uh, so disturbed that, oh, we used to hear Qurans from him. And now who will speak Quran to us? But who is Balde Prabhu? Balde Prabhu is all capable. And uh, he uh, brought the five-year-old son of his, Ugrishavasutra. Uh, Ugrishavasutra Ugra means somebody who is uh, very energetic and he is uh, powerful. And he made him sit on the Vyasasana and he touched and he gave him uh, the touch of his hand as blessing. By, just by the touch of his hand, he became a very good speaker and he sat down there and began to speak. Yeah, all scriptures are manifested he, when the Harikatha was being spoken, he used to always sit at the back of the Harikatha. Yeah, when Shukdev Goswami was speaking the Harikatha, that time Sukh Goswami uh, was sitting at the back, uh, right at the back, and considering himself very humble and very simple hearted, he used to sit at the back. But because he was simple hearted, the simple hearted is like. Uh, the mountains, the rivers flow from the mountain and will always gather at a place where, where which is low down. So similarly, because 
He's so simple hearted. So all the Hari Kata that was being spoken, it manifested in his heart. So then all the uh, Rishis etc. when they approached Sutta Goswami, they said that, Oh, uh, because uh, you have listened uh, directly from Shukadeva Goswami, and uh, all the Hari Kata has manifested in your heart. That is why we, uh, you have uh, heard this and everything has manifested in your heart. That's why we consider you qualified to speak this Hari Kata to us. Yeah, they are, you know, they are trying to keep, keep your heart very simple heart, unnecessary to serve his mood also. You know, Krishna telling that Vidhi Pradipat and Pari Prashnena Sevaya Upadeksan Tete Gyanam Gyanina Tatudasin. When this all knowledge comes to your heart, necessary to have three things. One, that Vidhi Pradipat and a completely Saranagar, completely Saranagar. Without the Saranagar, you are not happening anything. He can close this door. Similarly, when the first thing is the first thing, you have the first thing, you have the first thing, the second thing is the service mode. Second thing is the service mode. Necessary to have some service mode. Internal service mode, not happening anything. Service mode is so much necessary to service mode. Only service mode, this everything came to your heart. Like this Nara, you know. How very, when very, very little egg, small egg, how he learned everything. Why this sadhu is doing mercy to him? He has some service mood, you know. Always service to the sadhu, Vaisnav, Gurudev. Yeah. So necessary you have some service mood. You have no service mood, what happening? Who is the servant to you? Then you are all sukruti he can take, you know. He can take your all sukruti. So necessary when service mood, then what happening? Easily everybody became, you know, everybody became much to you. So I tell you, you know, he have service mood and a very without duplicate mood, necessary not any crooked mood, you know. If some crooked mood you cannot attend anything, you know. Krishna not like to crooked person. Krishna like to very simple person. Because he has very simple person. 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 Hmm. Why is the flute so uh, melodious? He is describing that one that it is completely hollow from inside, and that's why Krishna is able to uh, blow into this flute and create some music whatever the way he likes. Yeah, so necessary, necessary you have some simple mood you have. Usually, get any telling how you can get this all knowledge, how to the mercy of Gurudev. You are listening to Harikatha from Gurudev. So, Vishwanath is telling. If somebody thinks, oh, no, let's still go to listening to Harikatha, some Gurudev, Vaishnava, I am no everything. I am no all scripture. I am very intelligent person. I am so much, I have qualification. But no. Vishwanath would have to tell you, when they are churning for sale, fast coming by the, you know, they are fast coming this by the, after coming in nectar, you know. But nectar, who can get this nectar? Well, de de demi demigod. Who is the God? This is by the end of Dema, you know. So telling, churning when a person like this, when churning the scripture reading, if you try himself study, himself reading without uh, guidance of Gurudev, Vaishnava, then coming is Pajan, not coming, not coming, nectar coming, uh, Pajan coming. Here yeah, not coming, nectar they are coming. Only Pajan, Pajan coming there. So necessary guidance of Guru and Vaishnava is necessary listening. So Gurudev gave one nice example to so them. Well, there is a word in Bhagavad Gita, but there is a word in the Kabbalah, but there is a word in the Kabbalah, but there is no tone in it. There is no tone in it. Like we have said something, you have gone from where? This means you have gone from where? We don't know where we have gone from. If you have gone from where? You have gone from where? The word is one. The tone is changed, you have gone from where? You have gone from where? Where? मतलब जहाँ गए थे आप सही जगह पर नहीं थे शब्द एक ही है फिर टोन बदलते ही सबके सब अलग अलग मीनिंग हो जाते हैं गुरुदेव कहते थे कि लोग हाँ शब्द टोन नहीं है तो उसको कौन समझ सकता है तो भगवान की एकांत की भक्त वही केवल शास्त्र समझ सकते हैं who will understand the tone, who will understand the mood of these words? He said only a pure devotee, only a person who is completely surrendered to the law can understand the tone behind this. Like if you say somebody, where did you go? If you ask somebody, so this is a question. It means that you did not know where did this person go. If you ask me, where did you go? Which is a question. But you can say the same words 
where did you go? Uh, that means that he went to some place or she went to some place where you did not want to go. Or, or you are, if you are being sarcastic that, oh, where did you go? Like, same words, but it can have, by different tones, it can have different meanings. So he's saying, Guru used to say, that the words are there, but the mood behind the words is not clear without understanding what the words are trying to say. That is why we have to take the shelter of those who understand the meaning behind it, the purpose behind these words, and then you will be able to understand these scriptures. Yeah, like this Gita one scripture, but our India, so many commentaries. Hundred hundred commentaries. Bhagavad is the one scripture, one hundred eight commentaries Bhagavad, how to say India. So the one scripture, so how to say India, so many commentaries. Huh? Please tell me, you know, when they are looking, they say, oh, karma is the main thing. And he is a jnani, brahma jnani, mark is brahma, oh, Bhagavad Gita telling. Shiva is a Brahma, and he is a Bhakta, oh, Bhagavad only going to to Bhakti, Bhakti, but one scripture, but there are so many things, so many commentary about the system of Bhagavad. Guru Dev said, no, when you don't have to do a Pandit in Kalkatta, he said, what do you understand, Guru Ji, what do you understand, Pandit Ji? He said, Maha Devi is all about it. He said, Maha Devi is all about it. He said, Maha Devi is all about it. He said, Guru Dev is all about it. He said, Brahma Sutra Gita is all about it. उसने संस्कृत के प्रूफ रीडिंग किया तो गुरुदेव भी चाहते हैं पंडित जी क्या समझे माँ ही सब कुछ माँ ही सब कुछ सो ही इस डिस्क्राइबिंग दैट वन टाइम इस गुरुदेव व्हेन ही यूज्ड टू राइट कमेंट्रीज ऑन स्क्रिप्चर ही यूज्ड ट्रांसलेट फ्रॉम संस्कृत एंड फॉर प्रूफ रीडिंग देर वाज वन प्रोफेसर इन वन कैंपस so he sent them after doing Shivan Bhagavatam, yeah? And there are Bhagavata Gita, Bhagavata Gita, and there are Brahma Sutra, you know? Koncha Dene Ke Vaal Bola, Koncha Dene Ke Vaal Bola Tha. Bhagavatam Aapne Bola Tha Ek Vaal? Sir, I think Guru Dev publishes so many scriptures. Yeah, he published so many. And he proved reading everything. He's a very scholar that I, Sanskrit College, scholar scholars and he's a, he's a university, the principal of this university, that guy. Uh, so he asked him, uh, he has done all the proofreadings of all the scriptures that he has given to him. So at the end of uh, completing all these proofreading of these scriptures, so he asked him that, so Panditji, what did you understand from these scriptures? He said, I have understood that the Durga is the main thing in all these scriptures. Durga is my Dali Navi, Durga. So, this way, इसलिए कहते हैं इनका नाम सूत है कहते हैं सूत का मतलब क्या होता है बोले सूत का मतलब होता है जो रथ चलाते हैं रथ चलाते हैं तो सूत ये छोटी जाति का लोग होते हैं लेकिन जब ये हरि कथा सुने हैं ना कि सोनोगाद भी लोग कौन बोले ऋषि लोग हैं ये ब्रह्मदेव ब्राह्मण और ऋषि लोग लेकिन कथा जिससे तो यहाँ पर शिक्षा देते हैं जात पात पूछना कोई हरि का भजा सो हरि का कितने चर्चा में तक ऐसा है जेई भजे से ही बड़ा अभक्ति हूँ चार कृष्ण भजे ने ना ही जाति की लाज किया कृष्ण भजे में कोई जाति को लाज किया नहीं जो भजन करता है वो क्या है सो सूता सूता मींस समबडी हुज चैरियर ड्राइवर और इन वेरी टाइम्स � but a uh, chariot driver is considered to be from a low caste. So the question arises that he is speaking the Harikatha and all the Brahmins, sannyasis, big, big, saintly persons, they are coming and they are hearing Harikatha from him, from a person who belongs to a low caste. So uh, what is the reason that they are hearing this Harikatha from him? He is describing that how it is said that in bhakti there is no question of caste, creed, etc. The question is whoever has bhakti in his heart, he is greater. How much bhakti you have? That much you will be considered as uh, exalted. Uh, so you know, Pramanda Thakur, one writing one very good song, very nice song. You know, this song telling, Eman ki kare varar na kola, jai ko leke na janama na hai, ke bala bhakati mola. Eman ki kare varar na कोला कहते हैं इसका मतलब होता है ये मन मतलब मन तुमने कोल की कैसे सामने से इस्तेमाल लिया कि करे बरना कोला तुमने 
स्कूल को नहीं से भरना कर लिया जब स्कूल सेट ना मिल नहीं कहते जयी कुल्ले के ना जन्म ना है केवल भक्त ही जिस कुल में जन्म क्यों नहीं हो लेकिन मूल क्या है भगवान की भक्ति ही मूल है जात को मूल नहीं सो इन दिस भजन द क्वेश्चन इज बीइंग एस्ड दैट हाउ यू हैव कंसीडर्ड द कुल और द फैमिली द बर्थ इन अ स्पेसिफिक फैमिली टू बी सुपीरियर A, fam- a birth in certain family is superior to the other birth. He is saying no, this is not proper. Kul is not to be considered. The fa- birth in a family is not to be considered. Who has bhakti in his heart understands that he should be considered as well. Then he gave so many examples. No, he gave so many examples. He gave. Bale ka pi ko le dhanya, bir dhanman, Sri Rama bhaka karaya. अरे बंदा अगर हमारे भारत में कोई बंदर घर में घुस गया ना तो पवित्र बोला घर को धो दो घर को परिष्कार करो बंदर घुस गया था हैं अब हनुमान जी कहते हैं भैया मैं सवेरे उठ करके अगर कोई बंदरों को याद करे दिन भर उसको भूक नहीं दिन भर उसको भोजन नहीं मिलेगा मैं ऐसे रात में जन्म लूँ लेकिन केवल प्रभु राम की भक्ति की वजह से पूजा हो रही है तो राम के भक्त की भक्ति की वजह से पूजा हो रही है घर घर में हनुमान जी को पूजा हो रही है में क्या जो भगवान राम को मैंने भक्ति so he's giving many examples to elaborate his point he is uh, describing that how <coughs> although the monkey is considered to be very inauspicious so inauspicious so impure that if a monkey enters the home then uh, the people say that oh wash the home the entire home should be washed because the monkey entered and hanuman ji himself is saying he is saying i have taken birth in such a dynasty that if somebody sees my face in the morning then entire day they will not get anything to eat i am so inauspicious he himself is saying but Although I have taken birth in such a uh, low class dynasty, but still I am being worshipped everywhere. Everybody is honouring, everybody respecting me. Now we can see in each and every home, Hanuman Ji is being worshipped. Why? Because he has Lord Ram in his heart. Because he is a devotee of the Lord Ram. Yes, yeah, he gave so many examples to give you. Bale Rakshas ko le the pralhad janami bhuvane rakhi lajas. Bale pralhad kon sa kul me Rakshas kul me re na kati. राक्षस कुल में जन्म हुआ लेकिन देखो हम जब जय देते हैं ना भक्त श्रेष्ठ और प्रहलाद महाराज की जय जय नरसिंह भगवान की जय हम कहते कंटन में भगवान है लेकिन ये चीज को किसने प्रूव कर दिया प्रहलाद ने प्रूव कर दिया उसको पिताजी ने कहा तेरे भगवान कहाँ है जो बताओ मेरे भगवान है नहीं तो कहाँ बताओ बोले खंभे में क्या है बोले मेरे को दिख रहा है भगवान स्वयं प्रकट हो गए बोले क्यों भक्त की बातें पर रखा करने लगा भगवान स्वयं प्रकट हो गए देखा भगवान मुस्कुरा रहे बोले तेरे भगवान को दिखाता हूँ बाद में तेरे उठ जाएगा एक मुष्टि का हाथ प्रयोग किया तो कम फाट गया भगवान प्रकट हो गए भगवान को खंभे से जिसने प्रकट कर दिया भगवान and uh, what dynasty what family did uh, pralad maharaj take birth pralad maharaj took birth in the family of kashyap hmm? but still he is considered when we speak jay we are saying saying bhakt prabhu pralad maharaj means the top of top bhakt the top of top bhakt pralad maharaj ki hai and we always we hear theoretically we know this that in each and every grain each and every atom the lord resides but who proved this practically pralad maharaj proved this practically when hiranyakashipu is asking him that where is your lord he saying is there any place where he isn't he is uh, giving this answer he saying is it in this pillar also yes and pralad maharaj says that i can see him smiling and when pralad uh, hiranyakashipu said i will show you that there is a, a lord in this pillar and he said before teaching you a lesson i will teach a lesson to this lord in the pillar what you were saying that he is head there also he struck and of course lord nasimha then appeared why because to protect the words of pralad maharaj that i am there means He is such an exalted person that he can see everywhere. For us, it is a theory, but for him, it is practical. He can see. Pralad Maharaj ki, Narsing Dev ki, Kethrakya Sabko lete, Kethi Kudaram dete, Sri Bibisha, Bibisha ko bhi Rakshas school me, Rakshas school me jani hua. Lekin dekho, Kethi Bhagwan Ram ke bedte hai na, Bhagwan usko bara bara samjhe. इस जैसे आसन में भगवान बैठ ठीक ऐसे आसन ये विभिषण के लिए लगता है और ईश्वर सभा में जहाँ पर भगवान ईश्वर भगवान जिस सभा में बैठते हैं भगवान उसको बराबर आसन के लिए बैठते हैं और मिताली करेंगे भगवान उसका अपना फैन बना दे दोस्त बना दे भगवान उसको एंड विभिषण विभिषण आल्सो टू बर्थ इन द फैमिली ऑफ द राक्षसस बट स्टिल व्हेन द लॉर्ड इज अरेंजिंग इन द असेंबली व्हेन ही सिटिंग इन द असेंबली ही इज गिवन द सीट इक्वल टू 
his own. He is sitting, he is sitting him as, what, he, what have you made him? What have you considered him as? He considers him, considers him as to be his own friend, sitting on the same level as he is sitting. So the Lord considers him to be equal. Why? Because he is the devotee of Lord Ram. Yes, he is the devotee of Ravan को समझाया देखो हम कुल्लक का ऋषि की वंश में आए हमारे पढ़ाई स्त्रियों को करना हमारी धर्मों ने उसको पापस किया था लक्ष्मी सीता लक्ष्मी ने दिया मतलब मेरे को ऊपर कैसे दे रहे हो मारा उसको लात और भीषण लुढ़कते लुढ़कते नीचे आ गए तब उन्होंने प्रभु राम के शरण में आ गए आ गए तो भगवान राम से रात खिले बनाए लगा कि नजर बनाए रात खिले और भगवान सत्य व्रत है जिसको एक बार व्रत कर ले तो सत्य होता है भगवान का प्रतिज्ञा कभी झूठा नहीं होता इतने में जब उन्होंने बताया ना कि नहीं सुग्रे में आ गए प्रभु क्या कर रहे हो रावण को अभी तो मारे ही नहीं अभी इसको रात के लिए आपने लगा दिया अगर एक परसेंट रावण आपका शरण में आ गया रावण को क्या दोगे अब तो भीषण को राजा बना दिया अभी हाँ भगवान उसको बना दे तो बन ही जाता है फिर उसको क्या दोगे भगवान कहते हैं कोई बात नहीं अगर रावण आ जाएगा ना मैं अपना अजय खा दे दूंगा अगर उसको अजय खा दे दोगे खैर भारत को तो आज धर लेकर जाए अभी तो राजा तो भारत है राजा तो भारत को क्या तो तो मैं अपना भाई पोते लोग दे दूँगा आज धर लेकर बोला अगर वो दे तो आप फिर कुछ कहाँ रह गए आपके लिए तो जागा दे दे मतलब मेरे लिए कोई जाग की जरूरत नहीं तो तो मत भक्ता जत्र गायन की तो प्रतिष्ठ Vibhishan now he is addressing his brother before everything has started on the drama of war and battle etc. has started before that he is giving advice to his elder brother. He is saying that we belong to the family of Kulak Sadishi and it does not befit us that we steal the wife of the other and keep her as our own. It is better she is none other than Lakshmi Devi. You should return her to her, his, to her proper place and it does not befit us and Ravan became very angry. You are trying to teach me a lesson. So he is sitting up in his throne, which is you have to ascend a few steps to reach his throne. And he's standing there and he's speaking this to Ravan. Ravan became so annoyed at him that he kicked him. And he kicked him so hard that Vivishan rolled down the stairs and fell down at the bottom of the stairs. But from that moment, that moment, he never climbed those stairs and he went away from there. And he went and to Lord Ram. When Lord he reached Lord Ram, and Lord Ram, he performed his coronation ceremony, means he performed his tilak. Raj Tilak, he gave him the coronation that uh, means he announced him that very moment when he came to him, took his shelter, he announced him that he is the king of Lanka. Then Subhi was saying, what are you doing? He's saying, he, the Ravan has not been killed yet. We haven't had a battle yet. The, the battle is indecisive. We do not know, number one. And number two, suppose before the battle, Ravan comes and takes your shelter, then what will you do? You have crowned him because Bhavan is Satya Pratiti. Means if he has decided something, if something comes in his mind, it has to happen like that. So if, we have, if you have crowned him as the king of Lanka, and then suppose uh, Ravan comes and takes your shelter, what will you do then? What will you give Ravan? He said, no problem. Then I will give to Ravan if he comes and takes my shelter. And I have crowned him as the king of Lanka. I will give Ravan my Ayodhya. This is question being asked by Sugri. He said, you will give him your Ayodhya? He said, then you, but you have given this Ayodhya to Bharat Maharaj. So what will you give Bharat Maharaj if you give uh, uh, Lanka to Ra uh, Ravan? Uh, sorry, Ayodhya to Ravan. He said, there is no worry. I will give him my Vaikuntha. Ravan will come. Uh, uh, I will give Bharat to, I will give my Vaikuntha. He said, if you will give your Vaikuntha, where will you reside? He said, I don't need any specific place to reside. He's saying, oh Narad Muni, I reside in each and every devotee's heart, wherever they are performing my glorifications. Yeah. So, this way, Ram is so merciful, no? Very merciful. So, here is the Pramanga Thakur. तो वो मैंने एग्जाम तुम देते हैं यानी कौन कौन निकृष्ट जात में जन्म ग्रहण किया लेकिन भगवत भक्ति करने का नाते दुनिया में जितनी महिमा हो गई भगवान की आप इसलिए यहाँ पर सुतो उसमें छोटे जाति को बनाते हैं भी लेकिन कथा के उस उन्हें सुतो उसमें जिसमें क्यों तो भगवान की भक्ति मैं लेंगे भ and similarly, here also we see that uh, Sutta Goswami is speaking Harikatha and who is listening to Harikatha from? Although he is Sutta, he is uh, born in low class, low class family, but still everybody, all saintly persons, all sadhus, all sannyasis, brahmacharis, they come and hear Harikatha from him. Why? 
Това са с девоши.
Can you do something, Maharaj? Ji?